Hello, everybody, what's up? It's Papa Bail, and welcome to Papa Bail's Pulse Motors. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I am testing this four layer coil that's going to go in there. Now it's hand wound. The first three layers were really good. The last layer, unfortunately, got a few kinks in the wire and a little separation. But the question is, is it going to function well enough? I believe it's going to function wonderfully. So let's turn it on. Let's just do the one, this coil right now. That's four layers of 20 gauge on a three quarter inch core. Here we go. awesome it's got a little bit of an acceleration phase thusly but it is twice as far away than that coil over there and that is two layers of 20 gauge on a half inch three inches in length there we go There it is. Wow, it's moving pretty pretty quick now. So that's four layers. And I taped each layer so it's pretty uniform. I mean it's pretty good wrap done by hand. It is a single file coil. Wow, what was that? A loud snap, what was that? I don't even know what that could have been. It's not a magnet. Wow. Anyway, I think that was working really well. Maybe it's something underneath here. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. As soon as I figure out what that could have been. Anyway, I think this is working real, rather well, being a single file. Huh. Must have been something that fell. But it sounded like a bang. So I'd say that's 100% ready to go. It's got the two ends because it's a single file coil. I was going to get a bunch of reed switches like this. So. And go across like that I'm pretty sure but this is just the first one I wanted to do a bifiler one but now I'm thinking I'm just going to do the cheapest route cheapest route least expensive route 
and biggest bang for your buck I'm pretty sure is going to be a 20. God, what was that? I hope it wasn't anything important. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. No, we're not done yet. Oh. Yeah, that loud pop kind of froke me out. Was it my cat? It could have been my cat. Were you touching the wires? Tigs? Just like you did just now? I don't know. I don't see anything blown out. God, that's a mystery. So I, I'm going to remove it from said coil holder spool winder whatever you want to call that red thing and put it right in that empty slot it should slide right in and it's going to be it's going to be powerful man because this this one's working with if we look at it from the side it's like almost a an inch and a half air gap here it's not going to have so much and it's going to work better. And, <clears throat> excuse me, if you got to use, if the shaft has to be attached to the rotor, it's a one and an eighth inch hole. So that would be the size of my shaft. One and an eighth of an inch. But I don't I don't see how that's gonna happen. Now the commutator's gotta be adjusted a little bit because it's gotta attach itself directly to the rotor. Yeah, I know already there's going to be some differences, so it's going to be all right. Um, yeah, we get the commutator, probably a plate system like I had last time. Only each. Um, I don't know if they were going to go so far as to give them their own plate, but each one's going to have their own brushes. Each one's going to have their own brushes, and it's probably going to be the same contact plates for all the positive and grounds. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Cheapest, and we're going to do a read switch for each one. And the only reason we're doing, going to do it that way, well, I don't know. We'll see about exactly which way we're going to do it. But uh, it could be three brushes per plate. Or it could be uh, one brush. I don't think it's going to be one brush though. Because that would mean that the coils are in series. And I don't think they're going to be in series. Maybe, with a read switch in between each one, <laughs> that'd be different. All right, so, yeah, I want to see if this one works. But that's a lot of work to set up a commutator just to see if a read switch works. From scratch, I mean, I don't have any anything for it right now except copper for the plating. I guess I could could do it right now. 
But I want to make, you know, like it's got to have its own stuff. Can't be attached to this table. This is just a testing thing to test things out. In the end, it's going to have its own base like this one over here. And these are the commutator plates that I'm talking about. Positive and negative plate. And then maybe a diode so that it doesn't get confused. <clears throat> it's going to be sweet. All right. Peace out. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Join up. Thank you very much. Bye now.